Hello everybody, it's Miss Marie here. I hope you're all doing well at home. Well, today I've got a very special story time and dance to do with you all. Today's story I'm going to read with you is my very own book. It's called Miss Mimi and the Fairy Ballet Class. And after I've shared my special book with you, I'm also going to share a very special dance that I wrote and also choreographed the dance to. So how about you come and sit down and we'll read the story together and then we can hop up and have a little dance after it. <gasps> Here we go. Miss Mimi and the Fairy Ballet Class. Miss Mimi is so excited about seeing all of her students today. She has planned a very special fairy ballet class. She is wearing her favourite purple leotard. She ties up her ballet shoes and is ready to set up the studio. First, Miss Mimi makes sure the music is all plugged in ready. Now she sets up the chairs for all of the mummies and the daddies so they can watch. She tapes a long white line so all of the children can sit and see her. Miss Mimi takes one last happy look around the room. Oh, she's ready for her class. Excitedly rushing in comes all of the children. There's Melissa, there's Sally, Jordan, Phoebe, Katie and Sam. Oh, what are we going to do today? Says Miss, M Miss Mimi. Hello Miss Mimi. I can't wait to start. All of the children are excited. Oh, in they go. Phoebe and Katie are twins. Oh, do you know any twins? Look, they're identical twins. Yeah, and they are four. Miss Mimi always gets them mixed up though. Next is Jordan. He's four as well and he's very shy. He always has a big smile on his face. Next is Melissa and she's five. She's very chatty. She's always telling Miss Mimi things like oh, what she had for breakfast and what she was watching on the TV before coming to class. Next is Sam and he's five. He can sometimes be a little bit bossy and he always wants to go first. Then we've got Sally. She's only three. She's the youngest, but she's also the loudest. Oh, can you be loud as well? I can be too. Then this is Miss Mimi. Miss Mimi loves all of her students so much. As the bippity boppity dance song plays, the children dance around the room and soon the class is ready to begin. So they sit along the white line, eagerly waiting to hear about what today's theme is going to be. Oh, hello, my gorgeous children. Today, we are going to have a fairy ballet class, says Miss Mimi. Oh, all the children, they all jump to their feet and they begin to giggle and cheer. Will they see real fairies in their class? Oh, do you think they'll see real fairies come into their class today? Oh, We'll have to find out, won't we? Now, let's begin, says Miss Mimi. Gather in a circle, everybody. Let's come and do our warm-up. All the children copy Miss Mimi, moving their muscles and bodies to get all nice and ready. Well done, children. Everyone, come and sit down onto the ground. It's time to begin our stretches. We're going to start with butterflies. What colour butterflies would you like? And the children all call out names of their favourite colours. There's some, there's lots of bright colours and there's even some sparkly ones and rainbow ones too. Now fly your butterfly wings up and down and soon the room is filled with the gentle sound of flapping knees just like real butterflies floating in the breeze. 
<gasps> now, take in a big deep breath. <gasps> and shh, put your butterflies to sleep, Miss Mimi says. In one, two, three, Miss Mimi wakes them all up. <gasps> Clap! And they all hop up. Now, it's time for Miss Mimi to teach her class about the good toes and the bad toes. The students straighten their knees, straighten their legs and point their toes to the floor. These are our good toes, says Miss Mimi, with a big smile. These are the good toes, pointing them down. Then everybody flexes their toes up to the ceiling. And these are our naughty toes, she growls. And all the children giggle and think Miss Mimi's silly. They love watching Miss Mimi and they copy her every move. Then Miss Mimi invites the children. Now, let's turn into beautiful fairies. <gasps> Me first, insists Sam. Oh, there's a fairy at the bottom of my garden at my home, Melissa adds. Really, says Miss Mimi. I think we might need some magic fairy dust to turn the rest of us all into fairies. The children reach up on their tippy toes, trying to keep the balance on their white line. They imagine they're collecting magic fairy dust and sprinkle it all over their bodies. My goodness! Now, we have turned into little fairies. Oh, look! A fairy garden came to the studio. And now they're all dressed as fairies with a beautiful rainbow and beautiful flowers. Oh, and pretty butterflies. Can you find some butterflies? Oh, yeah, and little bunny rabbits. Oh, wow. Oh, real fairies have come to their studio. And now they're all dancing around like beautiful fairy ballerinas. Oh, then oh, suddenly the music stopped. Oh, what happened to the music? Oh, no, the power's gone out. Oh, what will we do, Miss Mimi? Oh, then. Sally puts up her hand. Yes, Sally? What if I sing? <gasps> the rest while we keep dancing. I love to sing, she said. <gasps> Miss Mimi and all of the children think it's a lovely idea. Sally begins and they all join in, singing the Bippity Boppity dance song and dancing together until the end of class. Oh, thank you for a lovely class today, says Miss Mimi, as she does a beautiful curtsy. Thank you, Miss Mimi, they all of the students replied. Miss Mimi smiles as she thinks about the real fairies in her class today. Oh, well, thank you all for listening to my Miss Mimi fairy book. Now, you can buy your very own Miss Mimi fairy book. All you have to do is get Mummy to go onto our website or email me and you can get your very own copy of this book. But for now, who would like to do the special bippity boppity dance? Dance and song. Oh, we all like to hop up and do it together. Let's have a try.